Will, good to catch up. Uh, before we preview this weekend's game, let's just discuss Tuesday night. Great to see you back in the goals. Yeah, no, it was a great night for us, uh, you know, as a team. Me personally, obviously, it was great to get on the score sheet, but um, a big win, a, a difficult game that, you know, like I said, it, you, you set up to play against 11 players and we had a game plan and obviously that changed quite early on, so we had to adapt. Um, it took us a little bit of time, but then after that, I thought we controlled the game uh, for pretty much most of it and uh, no it was a it was a great night and you know I think to probably kill the game off before half time was massive it's easy for those games to kind of string out a little bit at nil nil it becomes a little bit more nervy um, but I think we once we got to grips of how we needed to win the game um, I think we killed them off quite well and you know second half could have been better there was a lot we could have done better we know that but um, in the end it was about having a clean sheet and, and winning. An unorthodox finish from yourself as well, sort of the back flick through the keeper's legs. It was a very aesthetically pleasing goal to watch. Yeah. I mean, I can't say I've worked on the finish. I've worked <laughs> on the run. Um, yeah, like I said, it's something we've worked on in, in training. We do work a lot on set pieces. It's just not happened for us as, as much as we want. You know, it's great for us if we can help the boys at the back. You know, we can help out with, with goals in the season. It takes a bit of the pressure off. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's, uh, it's good, good that we got one in uh, for Perks especially. I think, yeah, Gary certainly gave Perks the credit for that as well. I think corners had been something I think the fans had been speaking a lot about to, to, to score from one. It sort of broke that duck and hopefully more will come from it. Yeah, definitely. We've got to now, you know, have that belief. Every corner, you know, is a big opportunity for us. Um, you know, we're not the biggest team. Um, but like I say, we've got to, we've got to use them to our, to our advantage. It's a massive opportunity for us boys to, to go and take the pressure off the boys up top. Obviously, you scored on Tuesday. You've received a lot of praise for your performance against Bolton as well. Do you feel like you're, you're sort of finding your form again? Yeah, a little bit. You know, it's uh, you know two two quite tough games, two different games in in the you know how the how the other opposition play. Um, but yeah, no, it's you know I'm just been working hard and you know trying to you've got to be patient, obviously, and you know when you get your chance, you have got to take it. So um, you know, long may that continue. Gary was quite open in previous interviews that you've come through a tough period. What was that like for you personally? Yeah, listen, I, for me, I, you know, I felt, I felt fine. I was, you know, I was still working hard. I was still myself. Um, you know, there's always noise at every club. You know, you go through tough times as a team and you're not winning. And, um, you know, people are entitled to their opinions. That is what it is. You know, I don't read it. I don't see it. I was just getting on with my day to day and trying to do the best for myself and best for the team. And, you know, it's uh, that period went on for longer than we wanted. Um, you know, every team's going to have spells of going through bad runs, and the quicker you get out of them, the better. Um, obviously, ours went on for too long, in my opinion. Um, I think everyone would agree with that. Um, but yeah, no, it was. Uh, it, you know, it, it's like I said, it's just good to be back in, back in and, and playing. I've had to be patient, had to work hard, but uh, yeah, it's good. It seems like that back three recently has been. Really strong, some good defensive performances, and actually, there's so much competition as well. You've got, you know, Czech who's, who's been on the bench. We know his qualities. You know, that back three you could change at any time. So, does it keep you working hard to maintain your spot? Yeah, I think we're well. We have a bit of a luxury now. We've probably got six or seven players that could fill that back three and play to the level that we require as a team. Um, so yeah, it's brilliant that we do have that competition for places now. You know, it should get the best out of everybody. I think everybody's ready to come in, you know, and do a job and, and win us a game of football. So um, you know, Czech, Czech was brilliant when he came in and and uh, and played. You know, we played in some big results for us. Um, you know, he's a brilliant player. So um, you know, there's more boys that I could list. You know, there's a lot of them jumping at the bit to play. So uh, no, it's good. It's positive. On to this weekend then, what are you expecting from Burton? Yeah, you know, a physical team, um, like I've said before, probably about a few teams, but it, they'll never give you an easy game. They're hardworking, um, we know what they're about, you know, we'll obviously come up with a game plan to, to hopefully go and beat them. And obviously going into that game on the back of a, a very good away win, that always seems to lift the crowd a bit straight from kickoff, and that, that can have such an important role. Yeah, definitely. We we know how good the fans are at home. Um, like I've said before, we need to make that home pitch a fortress. Um, I feel like we have done it quite a lot of the time at home this season. Um, and it's brilliant when they get behind us. Uh, so yeah, we've got to use them to uh, to our advantage. 
Tuesday's result, you know, put us in a very good position in the table. A bit of daylight now between us and, and the danger zone. Do you think if we were to get another win on Saturday, we could again breathe a little bit easier? Yeah, possibly. You know, we've, you know, as a team, not really been thinking about that, and we've just been reiterating that you've just got to chalk these games off one by one. Um, I think we've got eight games left, and they're eight massive games. You know, we're, we can still make this season a successful season, and we've got to go into every game wanting and needing to win that game of football and then hopefully you know we can come the end of the season we can look back and we can finish in a you know a good respectable place that we're happy with and it will be a successful year